Hi everyone, it's Chris from Flaghouse, and today we're going to show you how to customize your sensory magic experience. This will allow you to upload your own videos and music, as well as customized themes for specific users. Let's get started. Before opening up Sensory Magic, make sure that you've put any videos or music that you want to upload onto a USB key. Next, we're going to connect that USB key to the Sensory Magic computer. This way, you'll be able to access your files. Now let's go ahead and open up Sensory Magic. I'm already logged into the software and into the Sensory Magic program. Let's begin by clicking the library icon here in the bottom right corner. Here, you can add audio, video, and image files to the Sensory Magic library. Let's begin by adding some audio to the library. You'll see at first, all of the available folders are preloaded with content. But let's click on My Library to upload some new files. Click the plus sign to create a new folder. Today, I'll name mine Chris. With our new folder selected, let's click the plus sign in the next box over, and that will bring up an external Windows screen. Find the USB key that you've already got plugged into the computer. Once you're in, let's select something from the available files. You can rename the files as you add them. Once it's added, you can preview the music as well as adjust the playback volume of the audio. If you find the audio is too loud or too soft, an adjustment can always be made in the library. I'll add one more piece here as well. Let's head back to the main library screen by hitting the red X. Now, let's choose a video file to add. Once again, get to the My Library screen, create a folder, and then we'll hit the plus button in the middle box to choose a file. Same thing as the audio we just added, in that you can preview and adjust volume based on what you need. Let's go back again to the main library screen to add some images. Same process again. My library, create your new folder, and click plus on the middle box to add some images. Just like that, we've added all the files we need to the Sensory Magic library. Let's back out to the main Sensory Magic screen. And this time, we'll click on the large icon in the middle, the Experience. By default, you'll be taken into the playback function, so you can choose and play themes that are pre-programmed. What we'll do is switch into the editor. And you do that by clicking the editor icon in the top right corner, right next to the red X. Once we're in the editor, here you can navigate between the three categories of education, relaxation, and stimulation. I've chosen stimulation only because there's less themes here, and it's a little easier for us to look at. We'll start by creating a folder again, just like we did in the library. So I'll make my theme folder, then click the plus sign in the middle box, name your theme, and we move to selecting the media to play back during the theme. You'll see the buttons here match up with the icons from the library screen. First we choose what to project onto the wall, a video or an image. For this one, let's choose an image. The library screen comes up, and let's navigate to my library. Chris's folder, and there's the images we uploaded earlier. Click the big green check mark to use the file you've highlighted. You'll see now that we've made some changes, the save icon shows up, so you can now save your theme. Next we'll select the music we want to use. Click the music icon and we have the library screen up again. Choose your music and click that big green check mark. Last step now, let's add some colors in. 
Sensory Magic allows you to have three colors per theme. You have full control over choosing the three colors, and you can adjust how much time between changes and how they change. The timing is measured in seconds, and always defaults to five seconds. The Mix button allows you to choose between soft phase between colors or direct changes. Use the Color Palette tool to create your three colors. The last section of this screen is for future products that we're working on, including aromatherapy and fan machines to create the next generation of sensory experiences. They're not activated yet. What we've got now is a solid theme. Let's click the preview button to see what this will look like. You can see the timer bar moving for the music. The theme will run as long as the piece of music you've selected. You'll also notice these circles alongside the preview image that show what colors the theme will send out to all the Wi-Fi products throughout the room. Let's make two more variations. Create another new theme by hitting the plus sign in the middle box. And let's select the video we added earlier. Navigate to the video and click the big green check mark to bring it in. Now videos often have both visual and sound elements, so you can use the sound from your video by toggling the mute button on the video line. Our video doesn't have sound, so I'm going to bring in another piece of audio below. Select the colors again, and we'll have the mix button set to immediate change. We'll preview it all back, and you can see in the preview screen the difference in how the colors are changing. Here's an important note. Our video is only about 15 seconds long, but our music is over two minutes. By default, Sensory Magic will go based on the length of the video. So you can toggle the loop button to make one loop for the other. Now when this gets played back, the video will continually loop until the end of the song. Last one, let's create one more theme. We'll repeat the steps we've already used. Name the theme, add a visual element. This time, let's choose our puppy picture. Choose a piece of music. I'll go to the main library and get some Beethoven. So this is an example of using a preloaded piece from the library. Put them all together and add some colors. And here we have our third theme. Now make sure you click the icon in the top right corner next to the red X to get back into the playback mode. So there you have it. We've made three themes and it's actually pretty simple to put them together. You can add personalized images of friends, family, pets, or places to make a custom theme. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you have any questions, you can ask in the comments below and we'll respond there. Or you can call our Snoozeland experts by calling the number on screen. Thanks for watching everyone.